I was seven years old when this thing was parked. <laughs> oh! oh! You're so tiny. Whew. So we're gonna add the list of horrible things that should never be done to the inside of a motor. What's up everybody? Today on Cars and Cameras, this is a motorcycle I have been waiting for for a long, long time. A Honda CB350 4. It's an inline four cylinder, only 350 cc's. And if you could see the tack, I think it would go to 11. Uh, I bet 95. Well, I, it probably, the red, the deep red is probably 11 if I had to guess, but okay. we're not sure. I hope it says 11. <laughs> anyway, extremely high revving, classic, inline four, 350 cubic inches, cubic centimeters. Yeah. Anyway, it's another bike from Honda's just golden era when they dominated, and this was the baby inline four. 350, 500, 750. 550, 650, there were a ton of them, but this was the smallest four. It's a gorgeous green. It's been sitting in the woods for a long time, right? Uh, tell them what the tag went out at. 83? Yeah. <laughs> 1983. Also, there's a oh. dirt dauber nest in the spark plug hole, so that's what oh, we're working with. You know, that kept the water out, so. Yeah, yeah. there we go. That's going to be the one good the dirt dauber. <laughs> that dirt dauber, like, really wanted to see this bike run. So he was like, I'm going to do this guy a favor and just yeah. weld it up. So I, I think the first thing we need to do before trying to get it off the trailer is to try to put air in the tires. That uh, way it'll roll off easier. Yeah. And uh, get my air less likely to mess Plus up the tube. tube this way. So we don't know what the miles are on it. So... It's really on there. Oh, there it is. Only 6,789 6, miles. Oh, you're That's at pretty it. Good. Check with the, uh, I'm going to say 11. Ooh, it's going up there. 12. Dude, it's got 10 on there, and it uh, stops at 11. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, so my goodness. <laughs> This thing's a turner, this dude. This poor thing is stuck. We're gonna bring it back just to say, hey, let's hear 12 grand one more time. <laughs> I think you're mistaken. Cause it's, dang it, Bobby. Yeah. All right, so the rear one's no good. Yeah. So the front one's good. Front disc on this thing, is that factory? Yeah. Dude, wow. the disc is funky. It is weird it's design. It's got a line to it. it really? It have a rubber line on it. That's cool. <laughs> So we don't need a front tire and tube. <laughs> Look, we're gonna be good on brakes. I'm scared. Look at the dust. It's just it's going straight in my mouth. Oh, oh it looks great. Oh, we're gonna yeah. Just bleed it, it's fine. Yeah. Just just add fluid. Just add fluid, that'll go back to the liquid. Oh, it's just dehydrated. <laughs> Yeah. Brake Dehydrated fluid. brake fluid. This is a bad, this is a doozy. Oh look, parking brake, look. <laughs> this is a doozy. It is a doozy. Ah, oh, what a cool bike, man. It's got the crash bar on it. Yeah, we're taking those off because we never crash. <laughs> what do the crash bars like help? Save the well, save you? The, I uh, freaking love it. Boom. Oh, so it saves the, it saves the bike. So it doesn't worry about the rider. It's just like, yeah. Well, I'm sure it helps with the rider, the too. The bike can find another rider. But it helps save the bike, the rider, all that stuff. That's, That's cool. for stunt riding. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You really Dude, I love it. Thing. Wow. What a cool bike. They're, they're super cool. I was definitely not going to get on there with you. <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking. I was definitely not going to get behind you. Cool. Let's get to work. All right. This motorcycle was destined for the crusher. 
It has been sitting outside with no spark plug since the 1980s. Because it's in such horrible condition, we're trying to unstick this engine by any means necessary. You should never use the methods you see in this video on an engine that you care about. We're attempting to unstick this engine for testing purposes only. Yeah, who's ready for our uh, most difficult Honda revival yet? I have a feeling if we can get the engine unstuck, it's going to shoot four different types of gunk out of the spark plug hole. From five different decades. Yeah. So they pulled the spark plugs, but not the not anything else, but the, and the carbs. Yep. I was seven years old when this thing was parked. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna blow out the cylinders with air. Oh, good call. And once we feel like we got everything out, I've got my boroscope that we might be able to look in the cylinders. Yeah, because you hadn't sprayed anything. I haven't yet. sprayed anything in there yet. It's a little yeah. wet in there. Um, because it's been raining in it. But you know, a wet cylinder. Uh, oh my. Could yes. <laughs> help break stuff break it up. Free. Yeah. So I think it's just that outboard one that's wet. <coughs> and we got a dirt dog. This inside one's number two is wet. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, bad when you got the a outside wet. one on the side. when you got a wet number two. Uh, one of them you can't see in because, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I was, <laughs> I'm acting you can't like see, size. You can't see in one of them because dirt dauber nest. Yeah, that's, John, have you gotten a look at this? Yeah, let's bring it over here. Let's take a better look. Pretty good. Yeah. There's your dirt yeah, dauber it's nest. It's just next door, I guess. This has been a top three motorcycle for me ever since I discovered what it was. It's just kind of an oddball. I've always loved Hondas for liability, you know. Um, but a 350cc inline four. So that's like having four 80s tied together. Red line on this thing is 10,000. Yet, it'll go all the way to 12? Yeah, the valve will go. There's some chunks coming out. Oh, 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 that's bad. I got pure mud coming out of this one. You might want to. That's wanna, that's. I gross. got the poopy on. You it. might want to blow this way for that one to blow the dirt out. That's a great idea. If the valve's open. Yeah. Here's another one. Oh, this one looks really bad. Uh, can we get like this shot of it? Yeah. Yep, whenever you're ready. Oh! 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 Y'all were pointing the camera the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your arm. Poof! Yeah. Just. Oh. Yeah, it's bad. Here, you want me to do it over here? Sure. All right. Let me get out of the way. Valve's not open. That sucks. Yeah. So just air it and stab it. At the same time. Yep. No! Oh! <laughs> oh. Did you get that? Yeah. I got it too. I gotta say that's a. That's a. <laughs> Dude, that's, that got me. That's like the one of the worst smells to me. I do like this. Oh, I just wiped it clean. Sorry, buddy. The different colors. Yeah, very cool. High beam, neutral light, oil light, turn signal. It's really sweet. Kind of like uh, you go under you go under the hood of like 80s or 90s cars. Sometimes they have like a sticker of the color of the fluid that'll be leaking out of the car, what color it is, and then like what it is leaking from. So right. that's what that reminded me of. But Oh, dude, you got the infinity stones, man. <laughs> yeah, that's Before, it. I, I don't know. That's all I know about that crap. <laughs> oh, Wait, it's real bad. What are we looking at? That's the top of the piston. I mean, that's just, dude, is it Shell? Is it the Shell uh, commercial where they show the you know your piston looks like that? Mm -hmm. So all we, we just got to go to Shell gas station, guys. It'll be fine. Oh gosh. Uh, what is it? Seafoam or Bearman's? Yeah. Yeah. However you pronounce it. All right. So now's a good time to start uh, putting some PB blaster and and whatever else we feel like putting in the cylinders in there and letting it sit overnight. Oh, 
Oh, that's just a cover. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be charging system. Is that broken? It looks like it's uh, pretty it's pretty wallered oh, out. It got laid down on something. Yeah. Back when the oil fill cap was pop was metal. Yeah. Actually, I, I say pot metal, but I'm not sure. I that's what I call these these caps. It's like this is different style of aluminum. I think it's aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum, but it's like the cheapest grade aluminum for the caps, but then the head and everything else is better quality. Cause it's crazy, that's a diff that's a diff cover for a Honda Recon four wheeler. Yep. Oh hey. It actually just looks like it needs a change. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean you guys you guys would do a, a road trip with that. <laughs> Definitely. Turn it it's probably gonna turn back into dinosaurs here in a, in a little while. Dude, that's the wild looking stator right there. Yep. This will give us a nice thing to grab onto and kind rock, of rock the back engine. And forth. Yeah. Yep. Well, dude, this thing's like the the stuckest engine. I usually you can get a little rock out of the crankshaft. Yeah. Maybe an impact in the morning for the oh. no no shock. No shock is bad. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, yeah. We're good. I'm gonna take a screwdriver to the top of the piston and just give it a little. There you go. No, yeah, no. We, we might have to remove the cylinder head and actually use a two by four. And well, in this case, not a two by four, but like a one by one piece of wood. Figure out which piston, the, figure uh, out which piston pistons. is on its way down and be rolling the engine over and hit it at the same time. Good so it's okay time. to shock it when with a two by four. Yes, yeah, soft piece of wood. Okay. You're talking about yeah, because we're getting an impact on this thing. We're basically stripping like, out the bolt. He's going to be pulling on the crankshaft the same <laughs> way that I'm going to be hammering the piston. Oh, down. sure. So All right. We're both going to, you know, the old. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. I actually uh, see a tiny bit of wiggle. Hold on. No, you're not going to see it on there. Oh, not the piston coming up or anything? No. Nah. Okay. It's just the tiniest. Oh, wiggle. that. Okay. Oh. That's the bolt loosening. Yeah, this thing had no wiggle earlier. I'm uh, seeing the tiniest, tiniest. Uh, well, I mean, you know, and let, let me go look on the shelf, see if we got any ATF. I'll try and get some down. Yeah, let's uh, just uh, fill up them cylinders and let her sit all night. It's weird how it's like surprisingly clean in some areas and then just filthy in others. Like yeah. the mufflers are horrible. Headers, somehow, Immaculate. It, it was sitting under a barn when I got it. Okay. Yeah. Here's a rare behind the scenes look when you got cars and cameras searching the forums. It's always something from 1998 and people that have no idea what they're talking about. It's 2014. 14. Ten years ago, big hey, dog. It wasn't 98. <laughs> But ten years and they still hadn't made a big board. Kit. They still That's haven't found it. They're still, there. they're still looking for a big board kit. Alright, so we think the best way to move forward here is to pull the cylinder head off and um, use a little bit more force to um, to try to get these pistons freed up. Mm. I agree. Guys, there are just two days remaining in our Rascal Light Kit and $500 cash giveaway that's live now on our website, cars-cameras.com. So between now and Friday, April 19th, every $5 spent on our website will get you automatically entered to win a Rascal light kit from Go Power Sports. All you need to do is assemble, add oil, gas, and get yourself a helmet, and $500 cash for upgrades. So it's a great time to pick up some of our latest merch. We have a limited edition run of world's fastest mini bike merchandise. So go head over to cars-cameras.com, pick up some quality merchandise, support cars and cameras, and get automatically entered to win a killer mini bike kit and some cash. Are you on eBay India now? It's he was on eBay Canada. He there. was. <laughs> Gold only. Gold only. Some kind of discontinued currency. Freaking francs. Gold is not discontinued. I know. They're asking in francs. All right. World touring. Here we go. All right, guys. So we know this engine is going to fire right up, and it's going to be totally fine, and it's not going to care that it's had water in the cylinder. So. Dude, that would look so sick. I one mean, one there and one on the other once, side. Once the rust clears out, I would say that the ring gap is just right for turbo. 
<laughs> it doesn't need ring gap if it doesn't have any rings left. There you go. <laughs> the timing chain could not be removed because we couldn't rotate the engine to get to the master link. So then once it was cut... This one might not ha have a master link. We couldn't rotate the engine to get the uh, bolt loose from the sprocket on the camshaft because the bolt was straight down. Yeah. So you have to remove the sprocket thank you, to uh, to get to the bolt, which we couldn't. It'll be fine, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're just tying it up and get it out of the way. I just don't want to lose it. Yeah. And when we get this thing rotating, what we'll do is we'll attach the new chain to the end of one timing chain, and we'll rotate it, and it'll rotate it through. Oh, perfect. Yeah. All right, so we got the head loose. Don't know if it's going to clear the... Oh, it, oh, it, it Yeah, didn't. okay. We really didn't know if it was going to clear. No. All right, how bad is it, boys? Ah! Spilled oil all over my pant leg. Dude, look at those valves. Look at those valves. They're so tiny. They're cute. And so horrible. Yeah. Okay. Too I mean, I don't see what the problem is. That one's pretty bad. Oh, well, boy. Pretty deep. So we need to put a pan under this thing. Oh, wow. See, I think I'm... Yeah, just don't scratch the cylinder wall. I'm scratching the piston. Because it's coming up in layers. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe it's... I don't know. I wasn't very aggressive with it. Dude, that's... Can you shoot it in that pool right there? That's pretty bad. Yeah. So we need to evacuate that oil. Yep. That is pitting on top of the piston. It looks like an Oreo. Looks like a burnt biscuit. Yeah. That's pretty bad, boys. Dude, if we can get this thing going with, with, with pistons and cylinder walls like that, we can get anything going. I like that attitude. This is not ideal. Yeah. Guys. Oh, this is but, so wrong. But I mean, like, but look at the it piston. It is so crusty. The top of the piston looks like the surface of an Oreo cookie. I know that's a weird reference, now, but you get it. Here we go. I'm not trying to sling brake fluid. Dude, everywhere. that actually looks pretty decent. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Charles, this is a lost cause. Oh, uh, that one's pretty bad. So just get it a little bit, and then I'll try to do the best I can with but we're gonna have to get that piston down to hone it. So, should I order a timing chain? Give us a minute. The prop, like the proper way to do this, is to just replace the jugs. Yeah, most I mean, people... yeah, you, you, you. What we're doing is whatever you want. That's we're in that category. So, Woo. oh boy, oh, you threw stone, a stone. Didn't. No, I didn't. The Rolling Stones. No, it's they're all the, on it. I mean, dude, that's factory. Look in the bottom, though. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, we got a long way. We got a long road ahead, fellas. Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh oh, no. wrong. Good thing it was a piece of wood. Yeah. So, Charles, the reason why I didn't want you to turn on the crankshaft at the same time we is don't because know which it, way. It, it, it could be on the upstroke when I'm hammering it. Yeah. So you just don't know. So you just kind of work it until you start getting some movement. And you notice I'm not like wailing on it. I'm just kind of, yeah, that doesn't hurt at all either. I'm just kind of, you know, giving it to it. What? Give it. Oh, well, not too much, dude, oh, it's crap. splashy. Wow, it is slight. Oh, we're lifting the jugs. Oh, wow. We're just lifting the jugs. <sighs> well, it's all right. We'll all we gotta do is get a gasket. Yeah. Whew. So oh. we're gonna add the list of horrible things that should never be done to the inside of a motor. I made two of these. We figured out that the outboard pistons and the inboard pistons uh, so the outboard ones, I guess, are going down at the same time, and the in ones are, inside ones are going up. We, we made sure that. We verified it with the crankshaft. So we were, I made two of these. So Ike and I could both hit this, and it is just not moving whatsoever. We've even tried jarring it, unfortunately, with the flat side of a hammer. We Not, not too much, just trying to shock it, because, I mean, like, if this isn't doing it, 
a little bit of a hit from a hammer. Uh, nothing, still nothing. So we're gonna resort to heat. Just something. One last try, I mean, cause it is stuck, stuck. And so is it's just number three there that's that's stuck, or do we still have more than one? That's... Oh yeah, no, I I think this is the big one. All the these the two on the you, outside. You can the see, right side. yeah, you can see uh, the the outside of the piston is like looks to be free from the uh, cylinder wall. But this one cylinder I'm heating up right now, it has not. Ah. <laughs> my flashlight did that it has not been budging dude there really is not much piston left in there no it's uh it's unfortunate the dirt daubers did like their nest really wreaked havoc on this yeah unless most moisture only got to these two cylinders because you could still you can still tell that these pistons are aluminum and they have the valve relief in them like look this one i can read in for intake so like but these, there's just, like I said before, it looks like some way of an Oreo N cookie. For, yeah. for, oh, I N. I N, okay. Sorry. No, you're good, I didn't. I so uh, we're it. gonna need uh, some blaster, because we are oh, gonna. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna dap like a brake. Uh, I want to treat this thing like a. Some uh, blaster and a new motor. Now, uh, a blaster motor? What? <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, go for it. All right, so we didn't really heat it that much. Oh, okay, let me let you heat it some more. Oh, sorry. That's... Man, it looks like we're at a Japanese steakhouse with the volcano. Yeah, Is it my birthday already? <laughs> so, we got good news and we got bad news. Good news is that it's moving. Bad news is that every Honda purist in the comments is gonna absolutely roast us. Hey man, the way I look at it, this engine was ruined. Yeah, it no was gonna be- No one in the right mind would have messed with this engine. Right. Check out this technique. Don't try it at home, but you have to see it. Look away if you have to. Yeah. You don't want to skip. Here we go. Yep. We have movement. So we have more good news and bad news. The good news is that we still have movement. More movement than ever. Bad news is that the sleeve on cylinder two is actually going up with the piston. So we're making a bracket to hold the sleeve in place when we rotate the engine. There it is. All right, what we're gonna do is bolt that down and then we can keep going. All right. All right, so we're gonna hone the outboard cylinders. Do it again. After much, much hammering and uh, stuff, we've got Success. So I've been sitting here spinning it over. It's got some hard spots in it, but I think what I would like to do now, I want to hook up the starter, and I want to see if the starter works, and we can just spin this thing at a high speed and get the oil circulating in the uh, oil pump and hopefully start lubricating the rods. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, here comes the oil. Ew, all right. Uh oh. What'd you just, what popped out? There's a. Oh, oh! What? Where did it go? Oh. What is it? And oh, it went. I made a mess. Oh, oh man! It it. You inked. Good thing drip pans there. Right. Jeez, I, I Louise. You so that what? Thing had a spring in there. Ah man, they probably did. Who knows? All right. How are we supposed to know? I don't know. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll pull my bike out and see Take a look if anything there. flew over there. Well, we found the one thing. We found this. It was shot over there. But I'm wondering 
if there's, there's something, something else. else. Dude, your shirt and pants were like pristine at the beginning of the day. I know. Now they're trashed. Just, yeah. You know what? I think this is it. This might be it, dude. This might be all. It just I, goes I'd, like, I'd like that to be it. Uh-oh. Yeah, because look, it hit right here. I think the cover... I think the cover holds that in. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. All right. So now that we have the engine freed up, we are going to take the cylinder jugs off so we can clean up the pistons because one of the pistons is dragging so much, I'm afraid it'll cause so much friction. When we get it running, it's going to cause some damage to the cylinder. So we're going to yeah. clean up the pistons and free up the rings. Uh, this piston right here that you can see uh, those rings are stuck yeah. and I imagine and these are the two worst yeah, ones are, again yeah so. these two cylinders on this side are the worst I don't know why it looks like they've been my, my guess was the mud dauber nest it's like it's like this side of the engine went down to the Titanic yeah <laughs> I mean you, <laughs> know, you never know that like the rain like whatever kind yeah. of something whatever the wind I don't know yeah like so I, we want to hear this thing run. So Yeah, we definitely want to hear this thing run. So let's remove this jug and uh, start cleaning things up. We can get a real good look at the damage. <laughs> well, oh boy, that is nasty. Those are the sleeves that get pressed out. The rings on this one, they're all stuck. Yeah, they are. You don't say. Wait a minute. Oh. The rings on this one are all stuck. So we only have one so, good pistol. Well. There's only one ring on that one that's free, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're one for 12. Yeah. Did you notice <laughs> that these are still dry on the side? So oh, they, uh, wow. even though we had it soaking for a while, it still uh, didn't get down all the way around the piston. All right. Well, I'm going to get a wire brush and I'm going to start cleaning this stuff up. Yeah, let's get some paper and uh, Great idea. fill these holes up. Great idea. So this is the before, and now we have clean pistons. Now, we still have stuck rings on three out of the four pistons, and uh, I could not get them unstuck. They were that stuck. In fact, I cracked a ring while... Uh, trying to unstick them. So basically I said, forget about it. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing running and why not look for a big bore kit? Exactly, we're gonna look for a big bore, but in the meantime, we are truly going to test the Honda name. Yeah. It's, it was horribly stuck and yeah, it needs, it needs new pistons at the very least. Look at the corrosion on the piston. Yeah. Compare that to that over there. You can see the difference. Like part of the piston is the top of the piston is missing on these two cylinder out these two cylinders here. Yeah, but uh, we still we have to find out. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're gonna slam it back together. Slam it back together and see if, it runs. see if it'll run. So the engine is spinning over perfectly. We're really happy with it, but we're running into a problem with time and chain. We ordered time and chain for it. It's not going to be in until next week or so. And head gasket and stuff. And we want to hear this thing run pronto. So somebody was doing some thinking around here and found out that the Tillotson T4 cart chain is the exact size that the time and chain is on this bike. So we're going to grab a go-kart chain and we're going to be using it as a time and chain. We're also going to make our own head gasket. So we're come on over here and check this out. So our head gasket is shot. Well, we are going to get some uh, gasket paper before y'all start yelling at the screen. This is only temporary. We just want to show that we get this thing running uh, the way it is and we're gonna ride it around and stuff, this is not gonna last. We're just hoping that it's gonna last about 30 minutes because we've got, can I tell them? Sure. We've got a big bore kit coming for this bike. So we're gonna be pulling everything apart again and it kind of be ridiculous to spend a lot of money on the head gasket and pull it off and have to buy another one. So we're gonna just kind of make one out of this 
this paper gasket, and I, I'm telling you, it's not gonna last long. I did find some uh, gasket paper that would work that has the impregnated uh, metal on the inside. That would have probably worked pretty good. Still wouldn't have had the fire rings, but you know, it'll be fine. We're gonna lay this gasket out. We're gonna draw it out on this paper, and then we're gonna cut it out and install it on the bike. So razor blade, gasket, paper. All right, Chuck, how bad is it gonna leak? Uh, it's, so we're pretty sure the piston sleeves are four different heights. <laughs> uh, and we don't have a fire ring. Uh, that's why we're not even worried about fully cleaning this deck surface, because I think we're gonna, what is it? So we're big, bo we're big bore kit? Yeah, big bore kit. So are these jugs gonna have to get like, we're gonna send this off to the machine shop probably. We were gonna do it. We were gonna do it? Okay, we're gonna send it to the machine shop over across the field and we're gonna take care of it. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, yeah, just, it's, it's, I don't know how long it's gonna run, but we're gonna we're gonna see how long using a water pump gasket for head gasket material. That's why it's blue. It's blue marked for water. <laughs> oh man. Mike did a great job with this gasket. <laughs> Too no, bad he, it's completely wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's completely wrong, but he did a really good job. I think yep. so. Everybody just, you know. Give like a round of applause. And in case it isn't obvious, we know we know that everything about this is wrong. Yes. And at this point, it's just a joke mm -hmm. to test the Honda reliability name. Yeah, yes. So we have some, some good consumer advice here. If it works. If it works, yeah. So we're having a hard time. We need to get the camshaft uh, chain, the timing chain, on the bottom sprocket the on crankshaft. the crankshaft, which is down in there. Yeah. So we've loaded it full of grease and hopefully it will stick to that sprocket. So when we rotate the engine, it'll stick to that sprocket. And we can pick it up with a magnet on the other end. Fingers crossed, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. I can see the main drive chain from the crankshaft to the transmission, but you just cannot. How about we just cut this out? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just weld it back. Because I, like, I'm, I'm getting to the point where the, the guy who came up with the idea to get this chain back around the crankshaft, when he gets off the pooper, I think he's going to do this job. So we had an amateur rendering. Same guy who did the leprechaun one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're fighting right now, because you can't see it. We're trying to feed the chain that has a little dab of grease on the end of it around the sprocket on the crankshaft. So once we get it on the sprocket there, we have to turn the engine over by hand and hope that it sticks on the underside that we can, so we can go in and grab it with a magnet. And, and that's what? the chassis in the way. Go ahead. It has, I've gotten it. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. I can't believe it. Oh God, it looks like that alien movie. I can see the head. This is the most intense thing we've done in a okay. while. Cut the blue wire. <laughs> And don't use water pump gasket material for head gasket. Okay, so, dude, the chain is on. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I really was, I doubted myself completely on that. Because it, because, uh, so what was the, the first attempt was a string and a nut, and I dropped it, and as I, the further it went down, the more it got stuck. It was, I... I'm glad the camera wasn't rolling when that happened. Let's just say that. So, <laughs> but we got but it. We got it. So, hey, half out. So we're pretty much ready to install the cylinder head, and I think we're going to be trying to buy um, a new cylinder head too, or something in, in better shape. Because I mean, like, it's just so corroded and gone. Like the valves are half gone. The uh, aluminum is is badly pitted in some I, of these. I did my best job with the lap. That's all right. It's all right, and you know what, guys? I come. You gotta tell them. Hey, I thought I'd bring back the uh, PVC uh, intake. So uh, we just want to run it today. So that's where the PVC intake comes in. Uh, John is going to actually 
use the lang mirror to cut out some flanges and we're going to have a four carburetor set up put on the head for when we do the big bore kit so don't hate on me too much i thought it'd be funny how much did you pay for this bike i 250 i think okay nice do you want me to do it yeah, oh yeah. that worked pretty easy this is down on it's the gas kit yes almost give it to charles give it to charles Oh, it came up on this. All right. We need to tag team it. Hit it right around here somewhere. Hit it with your purse. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, we're just going to bolt. So let's just get the nuts. Yeah, to, uh, that's, yeah, that's close. All right. Getting our intake manifolds installed. <sighs> yeah. They're, um, it's a snug fit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. There are like two ways you could take this episode. You could take it and get really mad at what we're doing. Or you could take it and say, look at those guys taking that bike that had no business to ever be running again, and they're making it run again. That's the, ha that's the way I'm taking it. Yeah, we're saving a bike. Yeah, by killing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> we are going to install the cam now. I'm going to take this chain loose. This wonderful chain. We're gonna drop the cram shaft in. And there are some timing marks on the cam itself. And it's got to be, the marks that are on the plastics right there have to be level with the surface of the We've got some, uh, the the guides we gotta put in. Are we supposed to put the guides in before this? Or, I need to check something out. <laughs> it's gonna be a miracle if this thing runs. It's gonna run fine, dude. God, ye of little faith. It's already looking good. Look at that. It, it's what gold. It? It's got Sweet. a gold chain in it. So I'm ready to put the valve cover, AKA the cam retainer, back in and uh i don't nice. know some someone can work on the exhaust and nice uh, gold chain dude it is a nice chain isn't it that gold chain is gonna add 20 horsepower it's gonna like 50 percent power from the uh okay gotcha yeah well you know subtract the rings issues so it, it'll be pushing factory power nice yeah yeah so I'm uh we got twin 24 flat slides from Go Power Sports with the uh legendary PVC intake. The, the Isaac and intake manifold. Guess who didn't check to make sure the jets were the same. It's all right. We'll run we'll it. figure it out. So I'm sitting here uh lubricating up all the I just realized that components. I that. Dang. <laughs> Precision. Well, everything's covered up. Oh, nice. Now we just got to put bolts in it. Yeah. I can't believe it, fellas. I just can't. <laughs> this motor was so stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. If you're taking a sledgehammer to a piece of aluminum tube to the piston to oh, unstick dude, it. We, the comments are still rolling in. Yeah, screaming was, all caps. No! Was it like... Three or three and a half hours that we worked on this. It thing. was, yeah, it was like half a day. Yeah. Oh my God. It was crazy. Oh, that's right. I was doing, I was doing track maintenance and I, all I could hear was y'all building a bridge in here <laughs> or setting railroad ties or something. Yeah, we even broke the song. <laughs> when we turned on the key earlier, when we hooked up the battery, there was nothing on the dashboard, no lights or anything. Yeah. So I'm thinking that. Uh, we've got uh, a fuse that needs, you know, blown or something. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, yeah, our light is blowing it out. Uh, this might be a, uh, from a pack of cigarettes or it looks like some, a uh, Wrigley's gum. gum. Yeah, let's pull it out. And that's a, a nice piece right there. Yeah, that's funny. Dude, what if it's a 22 bullet? Well, that would be even more hilarious. 
I'm gonna say it's not. Oh. But uh Come it's like on, a relic. something dangerous. <laughs> Come on, something dangerous. Oh. It's a regular fuse. Oh. Oh, it's just blown. And it's blown. Yeah. And they bypassed it. Yeah. I had no idea you could do that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can do the same thing with a TV remote with double A's or triple A's. You just make the fill the gap with little pieces of tinfoil. Huh. Yeah. So I got to find a fuse that'll fit. Maybe that was it. Oh, that, that was an idea. Oh, yeah, that's an idea. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a smart battery charger, so we have to do really dumb stuff to overcome its features, <laughs> right? So we can't just hook the battery charger up to the bat the 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 bike the bike. It needs an actual battery in between. So we've got jumper cable leads to the bike to the battery and that battery to the charger. Yeah. You might be wondering why didn't we hook up the battery to the bike? Cuz the the leads on terminals the are broken. Yeah. So we're just impatient. That's yes, the theme. That's the theme with this one. We're in a rut. We're in a rush to do nothing. Yeah, I want to. I just I want to know already if we have ignition. Yeah, fair enough. Give me one second. What are you looking for right now? Power. Power to the coils, huh? Uh, well, no, just general powers to the system. Austin powers. <laughs> Got power there. And. Maybe your fuse didn't work. No, no. It's just I didn't know which end had power. I do now. So, let me see if this has power. Yep. So oh, we had... Oh. We got stuff. Hey! Yeah. The neutral... The horn's on. Thing. Hold on. I just... It doesn't go all the way, but okay. okay. Did you want to see if we got spark? Yeah, man. Sure. I don't think we're gonna spin over. We probably need to get my car battery on the back all of the right. truck. You want Let's to send it, it anyway? Let's just try. You can try it. Uh, I might get shocked, but it'll ready? be funny. Yep. Oh wait. Let's see. It tried. It tried, and it's gone now. We lost everything. Uh, and I think the battery charger is just like. Uh, we lost everything. Oh. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. No spark. Well, the oil light went out. Let's see if it comes back on after the oil pressure comes back down. There it is. That's cool. We have oil pressure. I can't believe We're it. We're a working oil pressure sensor. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, we so there's still no, no spark. spark though. Yeah. Uh, so I need to check for power at the points. So we really wanted to hear this bike run with the point style ignition, but it's just being so darn finicky, just like the rest of the bike, that uh, we're going to be installing brand new electronic ignition system on this thing. So we have the new pickup, we have new ignition coils, plug wires, boots, and it's going to have better starting, it's gonna run a lot smoother, and it should just work. So we're gonna get this old one popped off and get the electronic ignition installed. We should be ready to fire this thing up. So off comes the old ignition assembly. Look at all that good stuff in there. Wow. It looks like the mechanism that opens and closes the points right there. That's cool, man. You got your timing, uh -oh. timing marks on it. Uh-oh. Well, it's got a hole where it can only go in one spot. Cool. Our new pickup mechanism. And now we can install this. Screw these bad boys off. Too. And where were we at on this? So next up, we need to 
build our plug wire ends. So I got the boot, a little bit of dielectric grease, got the boot go on there. Come on. There we go. Cut the plug wire to have just a little bit of wire poking out. And we install the end piece there and I can crimp it. We don't have the right tool. So we're just kind of making do here. You're ready. Let's test it, buddy. All right, let's oh, check I for need smoke. To, yeah, check for smoke. And it's on. Uh, I just saw a spark. Where? Like at the spark plug. Oh, okay. You ready? Sure. Hey! Oh. oh. Hey, we had fire. We had fire? Sweet. We had ignition. We got ignition. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Why is it going poop? Because it's trying to. It's trying to start. But why is it doing after the fact? Is our timing way off? I think, no, I think the uh, I think the electronic ignition actually has it, it fires one last time after you after you hit this. The this the, okay, cool. Because you said you saw a spark. I did. You ready? Yeah, man. I think I'm ready. Ignition on. All right, ready? Starter sounds good. Come on. Oh no. Okay, we need battery on. Oh, we got unplugged over here. I mean, our timing could be all bad. I, I think it is. Sounds like it. All right. All right. Ready? Yeah. Nope. Go ahead. We need to check timing. So uh, what we've done is we've added oil to two of the cylinders, the weakest ones, and we're going to see if that increases the uh, compression. Yeah. Go for it. It ran for a second. We got some puffages back there. Oh yeah. Try to run. Well, we lost, lost our starter. Touch the button. Maybe we need to kick it. Maybe that's what it wants. I mean, it's not going to run if it's the valve lash is way out of whack. You're, so you are take correct. The tank, let's take the tank back off because it'll just make it so much easier. Yeah. And then we'll. Uh, what, what's I winking over there? The light. Yeah. Yeah. I was. You were flashing. All right. I'm doing it again. Yep. Red light, red light district. All right, I was just checking because uh, we had the wiring issue. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm gonna hit use the starter. You good? Yeah. We were so distracted by the fact that we had to hit the pistons with wood that we forgot to do a valve adjustment when we back went back together. Yeah, this one's still tight, so I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna loosen it. So I need eight mil, nine mil, something like that. Something like that. Cool. All right, ready. Yep. Oh my gosh! Hey! It yard sailed everywhere. <laughs> Try it again. My phone is right there. Charles oh, okay. just heads up. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Try it again, brother. Yeah, man. That is gross. Do we got enough fuel? Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, it's a little stinky. It is pretty yeah. I don't know what happened. We could have uh, compression problems, like we just yeah. burn out all the oil. 
Or we could have fouled spark plugs. We could have put a bunch of oil down on the cylinders. Okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> Did it get you? A little bit. <laughs> it's okay. Right when I covered it, it did the. <sighs> uh. Well. I mean, it ran for a minute. Not even a minute. 15 seconds. I mean, it ran. It runs as long as there's oil in the cylinder. Let's try it again. Our compression ratio is... Dude, he's blowing stuff all the way over there. I think it's pretty much done. What's happening is there's oil in cylinder increasing the compression allowing it to crank up. Once it blows the oil out the tailpipe in, in liquid form or smoke form, we're losing the compression. So it runs and it just kind of dies. So guys, I think it's time for a big bore kit. Yeah. So that's all what's come out of the exhaust. I mean, minus the uh, the gasket. Yeah, no, that, Look, hey, our head that. gasket held up though. That's right. The gasket might have. And we that have did. about a about a 12 foot range on the debris we found, right? Yeah, yeah it was all the way down back to the pal. You win some, you lose some. You win some, you lose some. In Thanks. conclusion, we probably should have just let this one die. No! So when we were all said and done with this experiment, we ran a compression test. And on the low end, the cylinders read 30 PSI, and on the high end, 60 PSI. So that would be why this thing never actually ran. The corrosion just destroyed the uh, pistons and the rings. So, oh well, you win some, you lose some. This was very ambitious and technically it did run. Don't forget, this weekend is Mini Mayhem. That's April 19th through the 21st at Busco Beach uh, ATV Park in Goldsboro, North Carolina. And next weekend, we're gonna be at the Pate Swap Meet at the Go Powersworth booth down at the uh, Texas Motor Speedway. So uh, be sure to come hang out with us there. Come on down to the Swap Meet, come on to Mini Mayhem, and we'll see you next time. How, how, how would you have done that? Lord, that person. Don't get a splinter, Charles. Oh, that's the least of my... That's the least of my worries. I think it would peg leg and a crutch. We'll have to ask Thomas on that one. Good old 18th century prosthetics, brother. There's no way that was a thing. It had to have been, though. <laughs>